guys, Kim Jan is back. Welcome to a new school year. Today we are going to be talking about safety. And I particularly want you to know about how important it is not to have a flammable liquid around a flame. And I'm gonna show you exactly why. But first, I need to tie up my long hair and I need to put on safety goggles. Hey, the unruly student's back, it's a new year. Safety is everyone's job. It's your job, it's my job. Safety is everyone's job when you're gonna do a lab, think, what am I doing? What are the, the safety precautions that I need to take place? Covering, protecting your eyes is critical. I have a question for you. Why are you still in chemistry? Shouldn't you have moved on? Let's just say I had to redo a few classes. Okay, well, I'm glad I have you back because you're very interested in what we do. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some hexane, and hexane is a volatile liquid. It has a very high vapor pressure and low boiling point, which means when you open this bottle, all the vapor is gonna come out and you're gonna smell it. Girls, when you use nail polish remover, that's basically acetone, and that also has a very high vapor pressure and a very low boiling point. What does that mean? That means that if you're in the bathroom spawing and you got candles lit everywhere and you open a bottle of acetone, no bueno. And I'm about to show you why. So don't remove nail polish with candles around. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this hexane. We're gonna take two to three mils of it and we're gonna put it into this Erlenmeyer flask and now I have a stopper it's going to stop most of the vapor from coming up but notice I have holes in the stopper and that's on purpose because this stuff is so volatile that if the pressure builds up it could technically blow the stopper off and we don't like things blowing up if we don't mean for them to blow up okay so now I'm just swirling this around waiting for it to vaporize now over here I have my little tea light and I have a ramp and I think for this next part we should turn the lights off okay so I'm gonna light my tea light And if it's your birthday, there's your candle. Happy birthday. I just had a birthday, but I stopped counting. All right. So now I'm just gonna tilt this bottle. I'm not pouring any liquid down the ramp. I'm just tilting the bottle and watch what happens. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. All right, the liquid's still in there. So what happened? What do you think happened? Let's do it again, let me figure out. All right. Hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. All right, Make ready? sure she doesn't cheat, no liquid coming down. Wow! That's <laughs> crazy! The vapor is so heavy that it flows down the ramp and ignites the flame because it's more dense than air. So even though no liquid is pouring down the ramp, it is the vapor that is igniting. If I left my hand there once the flame reached the top, the entire Erlenmeyer flask and its contents would burn and I would burn my hand. This is why we need to keep flammable liquids away from a flame.